tonight we're here for the opening of this historic exhibition, Persia, Ancient Iran and the Classical World. Uh, Farhang Foundation is proud to be the cultural partner and sponsor of this uh, historic exhibition. We are so proud of the Getty Villa uh, for putting on this uh, amazing show, uh, which has been in works for many years. Farhang Foundation joined this project in 2019. The exhibition uh, features artwork and artifacts from all over the world. Many museums from around the world have contributed to this exhibition, including the Louvre in Paris, the British Museum, the Metropolitan Museum, the Vatican, and we are delighted to be able to help present this beautiful show uh, which covers uh, the periods of Iranian history from the Achaemenid dynasty all the way to the Sasanian dynasty. And uh, this is a free exhibition that's open to the entire public uh, all the way through August and we invite everyone to come experience it for themselves. Throughout the exhibition we will have various programs, concerts by some of the leading Iranian artists and uh, family activities and uh, incredible talks by incredible artists, including uh, the brilliant Shirin Neshat, which will be happening this May. Persia is the second in our series of exhibitions on the classical world in context, and this is a series which examines the interconnections and influences in culture, literature, mathematics, science, technology, languages, religion, and especially, of course, the arts. This is a very major exhibition for us because it's the first one to look at the and understand the connections that were there existed in ancient Persia from the Achaemenid times through Parthian times and up to the Sasanian Empire. There was a lot of trade with the classical world. There was of course military rivalry between Persia and, and Iran in the classical world. But there was also much connections in art and in literature and in other features. So we're using this exhibition to explore all of those interconnections and these differences, but also the um, ways in which the arts influenced each other in both directions. It wasn't simply one, as it were, dominating the other. It was um, an, an exchange which was very fruitful for both cultures. So I think there's some masterpieces really from all of these periods in the exhibition, and we know that this will be, I think, something completely new for many audiences in Los Angeles. We have a great Iranian community here, but also many people who have not been to Iran, of course, or do not know so much about the culture, I think they will be extremely interested and impressed with what they see at this exhibition. And not only the artifacts are brought here, which some of them are rarely seen, but a wonderful catalog, which is actually not only of the objects, but uh, detailed essays about history and culture of Iran is also uh, printed by the J. Paul Getty Museum. Steps of the grand staircase, the sheer size of the city, and the spectacular gate of all nations, the official entrance to Persepolis. For many years, we've been working on this exhibition, which uh, looks at the relations between the Greeks and Romans, which is primarily what the Getty Museum shows, and the great cultures of ancient Iran, because we feel that uh, the ancient world cannot be understood unless we understand these relations of the great powers, uh, how, they, how they interacted, how they fought, how they communicated. So we've done our best to, to bring together some of the great works of art from all over the world, where you have 30 lenders from all over Europe and America and Canada, to show the culture of Iran over the, this period, from the Achaemenids about 550 BC, to the end of the Sasanian period of the um, Arab conquest in about 650 AD. It's especially important to us in Los Angeles where we have such an important Iranian community. Uh, so we're very aware, we're very mindful of the knowledge of this community, of the interest in showing this culture, and we've done our best to work with uh, the local scholars here and of course the Farhang Foundation, which is the, um, the prime cultural institution. We'll also be having a, a lot of programming. We have music, we have lectures, and we've consulted with Farhang for most of this. We found them extremely helpful. And just to get the word out to the Persian community. It's been a great pleasure working with them and, um, and we think this will be a great success. 
تمام این زحمات اینا رو من هر بار که میام تحسین میکنم این کار امروزشون مخصوصا اون فیلم که تریدی کرده بودن و دوران هخامنشی رو به خوبی به ما با اون تالارای بزرگ نشون میدادن و آنچه که در موزه اینجا فراهم شده بود خب با پذیرایی بسیار بسیار با شکوهی که صورت گرفته بود و اینکه فقط ایرونیا نبودن ببینید تمام در واقع من نگاه میکردم از هر ملیتی اینجا بودن بیشترش هم میتونم بگم شاید ایرونیا جمع کمتری شاید تشکیل شده بود امروز ولی میتونم بگم من باید به تمام دستندرکاران فرهنگ فاندیشن و اونایی که ساپورت میکنن اونایی که اهمیت میدن به فرهنگ مرزبوممون ایران سرزمین ایران که پر از تاریخ بسیار شکومند هست من از همشون تشکر میکنم ما سالها در طول دوران قربت شد در خودمون زیاد کار کردیم افتخاراتی آفریدیم و اما خیلی مهمه که ما در جامعه میزبان بتونیم اسم ایران رو به انگلیسی ببینیم اسم ایران به انگلیسی نوشته بشه تاریخ ایران به انگلیسی نوشته بشه ایرانی ها در آمریکا بتونن بتونن چهره بشن نه به دلیل اینکه معروفن فقط به دلیل اینکه ایرانی باید بیاد توی بافت جامعه جهانی من فکر می‌کنم این اتفاق داره میفته در زمین‌های مختلف داره میفته و فرهنگ و هنرم که بیشک بسیار مهمتر از سینما و تئاتر و موسیقی و این چیزاست من خیلی خوشحالم واقعا امشب اومدم اینجا و من فکر می‌کنم فرهنگ کار خیلی خوبی کرده کار مهم می‌کرده و اون شناسوندن فرهنگ و تاریخ ایران به آمریکایی‌ها برای اینکه واقعا پنج درصد جمعیت که من دیدم ایرانی بودن ولی تعداد آمریکایی‌ها یا غیر ایرانی ها به مراتب بیشتر بود و اصلا قابل مقایسه نبود در چشم من و من از این مسئله خیلی خوشحال شدم فکر می‌کنم کار خیلی مهمیه ممنونم از فرهنگ فاندیشن و گتی میوزیم که همچین امکانی رو در اختیار ما گذاشتن سپاس گذارم از همگی با این برنامه ریزی عالی و دقیقشون We are honored and thrilled to be here at another beautiful Farhang Foundation event, this time in collaboration with the Getty Museum. It is an honor to be performing a series of Iranian dances, which we believe is so essential and necessary to promote and embrace um, within our own culture and the external culture of Los Angeles and beyond. We're always so thrilled and honored to partake in these events. It's truly amazing to collaborate with such an incredible organization. Um, and at the same time uh, just be in such a beautiful environment in order to promote Iranian arts. So as Iranian dancers we thank the Farhang Foundation, the Getty Museum and the people of Los Angeles for coming and supporting us today. Today we are here for uh, just Persian cultural art and I do Persian calligraphy which is less mix of the painting and calligraphy. And it's really beautiful that we can just show the people that how our culture is full of art, full of poetry, full of many things deep. And the importance of just doing this kind of art uh, in Getty Villa, which is an international museum, this is how we can show people that this culture is super deep. This culture has many things just to show 
uh, the people all over the world and we can invite them just to introduce and um, bring them some beauty of this culture and this history. Today we are um, at Gedi Villa and we are celebrating uh, culture and some events for uh, families. As a Persian, I'm really feeling um, happy and I'm proud of my culture because today we are gathering so many artists, musicians, you know, puppet players and also some other people together to show how our culture is rich. And you know, when I was do doing my puppet show, I could hear people's voice that they were really enjoying and it was interesting for them. And after the puppet show, we had a uh, workshop. Um, we made some puppets based on the characters that the kids created by themselves. And it was really fun. And I'm really thankful for having this opportunity. Thank you, Farhang. It was really enjoying. And, and I can see that all the families they um, were together doing some, you know, activities all together, enjoying a new culture, experiencing a new culture, and it was really fun. ما در قسمت اوپنینگ برنامه بودیم گروه کوبان به ارائه موسیقی سنتی ایرانی پرداخت و شب بسیار خوبی رو گذروندیم ما تا موسیقی سنتیمون به یه گونه دیگه ای بود یعنی سعی کردیم که در تمام مدتی که مخاطبین میان اینجا موسیقی سنتی و موسیقی ایرانی در فضا وجود داشته باشه برامون خیلی اهمیت داشت شرکت در اینجا به دلیل که یک کار کاملا کالترال بود و ما هم تلام تمام تلاشمونو کردیم که این کار کالترال رو ارائه بدیم در کنار اون قضیه از لحاظ موسیقی